Hi, I'm Michael Barone, the Pipe Dreams Guy, and we are visiting the Episcopal Cathedral of St. Mark in Minneapolis today. A familiar place to me, as I've been making recordings of concerts here since back in 1969. The organ sounded very different then, and it's recently enjoyed a thorough going over of refinement of its physical substance and musical soul, accomplished by the excellent craftsmen of the Foley Baker Company of Tolland, Connecticut. To find a bit more about the organ, we're going to visit here with music director Raymond Johnston, who has the inside story. Well, here we are at the console, which is where everything happens, or at least is, is asked to happen. This is the control center that uh, when the keys are pushed down and the motor is on, the pipes will play if the organist has practiced. Uh, Ray, this instrument has been here since the 1930s, but in the recent rebuild, there have been a number of new ranks added to it. Can we go through what some of those new sounds might be? Sweet clarion here. It was also recovered from the tower, so uh, in combination with the other reeds, we have this rather... sort of sound. We have a couple of new uh, string stops here. The organ has a lot of strings to, uh, to aid accompaniment. Um, we've moved some around. These are brand new ones that uh, Foley Bacon mended for us, um, provided for us. The heart of any organ is its chorus of principles, diapasons, the cylindrical metal pipes open at the top that make the specific organ-like sound. And one of the things that has happened in this most recent recreation is that there is an entirely new principal chorus here at St. Mark's. Yes, that's right. We, uh, we had to replace a lot of the stops simply because uh, of metal fatigue as much as anything else, as well as aesthetic reasons. Uh, but all of these uh, diapasons are new. We had the eight-foot principal. <laughs> to regain this one again from the from the tower which has a beautiful richness that uh, can really only come from the 1920s because they don't make them like that anymore they certainly don't also on the grate we have a new uh, set of chorus reeds again which had a certain amount of brilliance <laughs> the presence of a cornet for uh, French Baroque music and various other requirements. The instrument at St. Mark's is laid out in a variety of different spaces in the cathedral. As you can see from behind me, we have a section up here, the positive section. And over here, we have the main bulk of the organ. Uh, the organ has some 6,000 pipes, 78 ranks, and uh, in keeping with most Episcopal churches, it's a question of uh, being heard but not seen. Now, Ray won't do this for just every visitor, but he did offer to open up the chamber door so that we could take a peek inside and glimpse what's going on. No two organs really sound the same, whether they're made by the same manufacturer or not. Uh, so much of the sound is down to the acoustics of the room that they're in. But here we are, still inside the organ chamber. People don't often come inside organs to listen to them, partly because they're very loud. Over here, we have some of the lower pipes, the open wood pipes uh, on the pedals. And just to give you an idea of the sensation. It's a, it's a rather, uh, rather breathy sound. Once it gets out into the room and the acoustics have a chance to, to play with the sound and to, to mend it and blend it together, it's really very satisfying. But up close, not quite so much. I have the lower swell chamber. Um, where you can see the pipes that are enclosed by the louvers or the blinds. Um, and we have the blinds closing there so you can see how that contains the sound. Um, it's one of the many pedals that the organist has control over. 
Um, some are actually playing notes, but any other feet that you've got handy, uh, they will be controlling the volume in the swell and the choir and some of the solo as well. Well, I hope that's given you a sense of what the pipe organ is and how it works here at St. Mark's Cathedral and a taste of what's in store for you should you visit St. Mark's. Their service music is top drawer. And check our full program on this instrument on our Pipe Dreams website, pipedreams.org, the program New Sounds from St. Mark's. Thanks to Raymond Johnston and his cathedral colleagues for their hospitality today. This is our first video venture. Uh, let us know what you think and watch for future installments. I'm Michael Barone. Bye. Bye.